We're going on with your game. We're going on. We're going on. We're going on. We're going on. Hey, what's going on with your gang? Today we got that Julio Fulio, Julio Fulio RP that man on me. I heard his boy slide. I heard his boy busting some dongs. Heard they bam, nah, nah, me, nah, me, nah. You hear me? So I'm at work right now. I'm at work right now, and, and my son he up in the hospital right now. He 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 getting uh he getting one of them cameras stuck up uh his stomach. You feel me? Put it in his stomach so they can look around and shit. Cause he been throwing up. Like, man, every other day, probably sometimes every day. And it'd be like, damn near a bucket full of throw up. You feel me? Maybe more. So he been, he. I ain't gonna get all the way up into it because you feel me? I'm not the type. I'm not the type to do that. But motherfuckers, motherfuckers know. Like, dog. Don't tempt me. Don't tempt me. I'm the type of nigga that'll, that'll, that'll go for full custody just because of how you is. Fuck is you talking about? Nigga, don't play me. The fuck, that's my seed. Both of them. Yeah, I got two by the same bitch. Yeah, my seeds. The fuck, nigga? I can't, I can't do that weak ass female shit. I can't, I... <laughs> weak females... Weak, weak women are unattractive to me. Weak women are unattractive to me. You feel me? That's, that's that. But I ain't gonna get all up into that shit. You feel me? See the cobbit? He was like, what's that in your head? Because I had this up in my hand last time. It's a Lost Mary, little puff bar shit. You feel me? Should be having me, like, get headaches, motherfucker. This shit be having me, motherfucking, get, get, get dizzy, like, but we still smoking it. You feel me? But let's get right up into this, man. R.P. Julio Fulio. I heard them boys are slime for you, dog. Shit, hey, hey. If they ain't slime, they dying. Fuck are you talking about? Ah, uh, man, this Julio Fulio Young and Ace Jacksonville situation just keeps getting worse. Now, I'm sure most of y'all tapped in and watched the video I did about Julio Fulio. If you didn't, you probably seen other videos about it. Lord knows it's the only thing that's been being talked about on these YouTube streets for the last week. And, well, as I'm sure most people have expected, the retaliation has already begun. And I have to imagine that this is just going to be the start of it. Like, what we about to cover today, I'm pretty sure is just the beginning of something terrible and me in my opinion if i was his if i was his mama or something you feel me i'm only i'm only keeping your first two pair pair of uh a jewelry pieces you feel me like your your chains like two two of your chains that you first got two of your rings that you first got and two of your watches that you first got and if you got earrings keep those two and i i man <sighs> Motherfuckers gotta give it to the sun. You gotta keep that shit stuck, tucked off. Keep on cleaning that shit. You feel me? You just give it to the sun. But I already know motherfuckers ain't got baby moms like that. There ain't no down ass bitches that keep shit for they. You feel me? When they when they daddies pass and shit. Y'all need to start doing that. Or y'all could even start. Y'all could even start uh, 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 doing little time capsules and shit. You feel me? Like, put the shit that he fucked with up in there. Boom. Bury it. Have your son do do a little treasure hunt when he when he get of age with it, like by himself or something. You feel me? And yeah, like that that type of shit is hard. That's something that I wish my moms would have did. You feel me? For my pops. My pops died back in 04, nigga. Gunshot to the chest. Travel straight to his heart. You feel me? Because he ran. He ran after the shot. He was he, my my boy was a was a dope dealer, not a pole popper. You feel me? He he really fight you. That was a big ass nigga. He really fight you. My nigga was a fucking fucking beast with his hands. You feel me? So for a nigga to shoot him, that nigga was big as fuck. You feel me? But he ran. Bullet traveled to his heart. R. P. Pops, dog. But it's shit like that, man. Shit like that. Really keep keep a motherfucker in tune with they pops. You feel me? Like man, that's sentimental shit.
terrible. And honestly, that's not very shocking given the history between both sides, Julio and Young and Ace's side. This is something that's been going on for years at this point and from the looks of it, will probably continue to go on for years to come. Now, I don't know if y'all are tapped into the blogs or not, but if you are, you may have seen reports breaking about Jacksonville basically being on fire since the whole situation with Julio went down. And yesterday, news started to break that a member of a set Truth Teller TV, one of Fulio Ops who died, little, little leaky, Big Brother was killed Friday. The police said, says they believe he was targeted. Link in my bio for more details. Sheesh, not leaky. Wow. That called 1200 out of Jacksonville actually got got in connection to or in retaliation for oh, the brother. Julio Fulio situation. Now, Julio Fulio lost his life on the 23rd of June after trying to go out and celebrate his birthday. And he was posting his location, letting everybody know where he was at, pretty much setting himself up for failure. But since then, Young and Ace has been going stupid with the music, dropping this song after this song, pretty much letting the world know that he was happy about what had happened and pretty much saying that if anybody had a problem with it they needed to pop out they needed to spin for six and as soon as i heard these songs and the lyrics in these songs i knew it was only a matter of time before get back was getting got I ain't even heard the, song the reviews yet. are in and they are spicy jimmy john's new firecracker rap i stand up Hey, this death, this death helped this nigga career and all them other niggas' careers that is about to be rapping on this nigga. Young and Ace with Young and Ace ain't been popping. I ain't heard nobody ever say cut on that Young and Ace. I ain't never heard nobody say cut on that Fulio. I ain't. I ain't never cut. I ain't, I ain't never heard nobody say cut on that whopper with the chopper. Like what the fuck? Spin a Benz? Not that different. Spin a Benz, he, he be having some shit. But even then, I ain't never heard nobody say put that shit on. Not even me. <laughs> the fuck? So of course this death is helping their careers in numbers. In numbers, they like man. The more I got a call, what is this? What is this? That on the floor, that on the ride, Mr. Six. Oh, no. I'm steady screaming out for the law. Six, six, four in the car, one of them dead, three I hit. Oh. I told them they don't want a war with it. You want a war? You want a war? Hey. I told them go and step hard around this. I told them step a little hard around this. Yeah. I pulling up the clear the scene, knocking off his top. Oh. Bullets through the windshield, can't miss a witness chop. I told them don't come and play with me. Play with me. I told them. Watch what they saying to me. Hey. Hold on. He said he said about a chop. And he said that shit before the motherfucking leaked footage surveillance video of the nigga holding the chop. Bro going to jail. I kill for shit like this. I live for shit like this. Can he went to that grave and took a picture? They got hit. Got caught coming out of the trap. I bought a con. Bust him. Bust they him. saying rest in peace to him. I'm screaming fuck him. Tell her officer to come outside and slap a six. Slap it ain't a one that y'all can't run. You boys can't hide from this. So news started to break yesterday saying that that's exactly what happened. Now there's a guy named Leaky that Julio Fulio used to always diss in a bunch of his records. He was always name dropping him and Leaky was a 1200 member. Well yesterday, like I said, news started to break that Leaky's brother, another member of 1200, had actually been gotten. Now this Leaky dude was a close friend of Spinner Benz, Whopper with a Chopper, bunch of people over there on Young and Ace's side. And on the internet people are basically saying that this leaky guy was like spin the bins whopper with a chopper in them shooter right he was the one they called when they needed some work put in now little leaky or 1200 leaky actually passed away about two years ago back in 2022 after he was supposedly sipping some fake lean somebody pulled up on him hit him with a headshot resulting in him crashing a car and obviously passing away and julio was one of those people that didn't spare a minute to let his family you know more and what had happened, he immediately jumped online and started dissing this dude. Come shop and get some of these leaky pads, man. This that exclusive that's gonna put you in the sky. You're gonna feel like you died with it. No care. 
That nigga said it, it's gonna it's gonna feel like you in the sky, like you actually died. That that's crazy. Look at this. Oh, uh, leaky. That boy to put the bottle of lean on his. Bitch. <laughs> I keep that leaky, man. I've been, boy, this dead ass. What? Dance. Yeah, man, that's some pretty savage stuff right there. But apparently Julio was dissing this dude, Leaky, because Leaky had allegedly swung through and taken some people out from over on Julio's side. So he was just, you know, doing what they was doing to him. Not that that makes it right, but I mean, this Leaky dude was getting what he was given. And well, last night, news started to break that his big brother is the latest victim of this ongoing conflict in Jacksonville. Now, I should make it clear that 1,280 ATK are two separate sets, all right? So they're two separate cliques. They're not really together. However, they do share some of the same enemies like Julio. But 1200 had its own problems with Julio's team. For example, back in April of 2020, 1200 and Lil Leaky tried to get at Julio by spraying him up. However, it ended up not being Julio that Leaky was spraying because his at the time girlfriend, Cuban doll, and one of her friends had hopped in one of Julio's cars and drove down to the gas station and I guess these guys seen a car thought it was Julio and sprayed it up but it was his girlfriend not him she ended up getting grazed in the head and one of her fingers shot off and while this was 1200s doing people from KTA were quick to get on a record and basically stand beside 1200 in this situation dropping lyrics like this one right here mama got shot and he's still tweaking it's Got shot, cool, I know she leaving. It shot that finger off, she couldn't even tweet it. Ay. Now, Leaky never hopped on a track and spoke about the situation, and neither did anybody from 1200, but people from ATK, people like Spinning Benz, did. Now, I said all of that to say there was a clear connection between ATK and 1200, and with what just happened to Julio and pretty much Young and Ace trying to take credit for that, the news of Leaky's brother being hit has people thinking that this is retaliation for what happened to Julio, especially since because as soon as the news broke that Leaky's brother Darius has passed away. People from Julio's camp went online and started immediately clowning him and making fun of the situation. So the news article that reported Lil Leaky's brother passing away says Clay County, Florida. It says three kids are left without a father after Darius Vale was ink on Friday night. Now, I'm sorry I'm having to bleep the words like that. YouTube took my trusted status away so I can't be putting nothing in here that might be misconstrued by them as too bad. Sorry about that y'all but it says the clay county sheriff's office said it happened around 11 p.m at the laurel grove apartments in orange park and orange park is about a 25 minute drive away from the city of jacksonville it's like just right on the outskirts it says bell was outside in a parking lot when somebody him multiple times according to deputies he later passed at the hospital investigators believe the 29 year old was targeted and it was an isolated incident bell's family has been been vocal on social media calling him a devoted father to his three children his neighbor said that it sounded like his kids may have been playing at the time of the incident he said we heard maybe four like five pow sounds and i figured with the holidays coming up it must just be fireworks because the kids were still screaming and playing like they didn't sound like they were yelling for help they were just playing as of right now there is no suspect for this case and the police are asking if anybody has information to contact them so this is Lil Leaky's big brother and obviously people have started to question why would anybody from Julio's camp want to be getting at Leaky's brother because Leaky passed away so Leaky obviously didn't have nothing to do with Julio because Leaky ain't here no more but like I said 1200 ATK they've been clicked up for a long time they different sets but they friends and you know what they say man bullets ain't got no name if you're in the streets and you're responsible responsible for something and the people who want to get get back can't get to you you know they're gonna go for whoever they can't get this close to you and pretty much as soon as it happened we had people from atk and atk affiliates going online and posting about this like right here we had la he got on instagram he said leaky brother s and kill in jacksonville days after fulio's death and he posted it with the song that fulio made called get back and he wasn't the only one there was numerous 
other posts made by people affiliated with these guys and it's just a sad situation all together Damn. because here we go with bro the said i'm done trolling on to the next one like bruh fuck it's a war zone out there Michael again. Did you know, like I said, I'm pretty sure that this isn't going to be the only time we hear about these type of things happening. We'll probably see this numerous times in the media. Now, I know that police said that they wasn't going to be tolerating no retaliation and stuff, but the truth is, man, it's hard to foreshadow who's going to, you know, be delivered what hand at what time. And for the police, they got an uphill battle with this one if they anticipate not letting retaliation happen because as we can clearly see, people are actively out here attempting to do that exact thing but that's pretty much all of the details that i know about it and that's the story and where we're at so far anyways that's it for the video guys if you enjoyed the content be sure to hit the like button damn folio that's crazy but uh, hey it, it's sad to say but motherfucking at least he really got at least he at least he really like at least he passed for niggas that motherfucking actually out there gonna spend for that nigga it's a lot of niggas that, that be dying for niggas that ain't gonna spend for them. Say they will, never do, because they too scared. You feel me? Shit, so, nigga, that, that's the life he lived. That's that's the motherfuckers he called he, his brothers and shit, his, his family, his, his, his friends, you feel me? Like, it's only right that they do that. That nigga was, that nigga, that nigga gave his all to this shit, you feel me? But hey, if you made it this far, like, comment, share, and hit that sub button. Stay safe out there, y'all.